Hello everyone, this is math six. Let's move on to lesson 7-6, find surface areas of prisms. In this lesson, we'll be able to draw a net of a prism and use it to find the prism surface area. So last lesson, we looked at um, the net of a prism and how to uh, classify our solid. Okay, today we're going to talk about surface areas using the net. All right, let's look at solve and discuss it. Marianne orders boxes to pack gifts. When they arrive, she finds flat pieces of cardboard as shown below. Marianne needs to cover each face of the boxes with green paper. What is the least amount of paper needed to cover each box? Explain. So look at this box. If you, if you cut the box and make it flat, this is the net. So in order to find the least amount of paper that's needed to cover each box, you want to know the area of the, all these surfaces, right? So how many faces does this box have? You got one, two, three, four, five, six faces, or four faces and two bases, right? But you got six different six different um, areas that you can figure it out, six squares, right? So each face is a square that, um, that is nine inches by nine inches. So the area of one face, so nine by nine is 81 inches square. What about this one? It's the same, 81, 81 inches, 81 inches, all the faces and the faces have the same area. How many, how many squares do we have here? Six different, uh, six different squares that are the same, that have the same area. So what can you do? You can say, we're gonna multiply six times nine times nine, which is six times 81 to get the total area of, of the sides of this box. So six times 81 is 486 inches square. So 486 inches square is the least amount of paper needed to cover each box. Okay, let's um, write it in words as well. So there are six faces. Each face is a square that is nine inches by nine inches. Of a face, one face. Or let's say six sides. This face could be each side is a square area of a side, because space could just be the sides on the, on the side, not including bases, right? So nine times nine is equal to 81 inches square. And then 81 times six is 486. So 486 square the least paper needed to cover. Hmm, where did I put this? <laughs> There you go. Okay, let's look at focus on math practices on the bottom. Suppose Marianne has only one large sheet of green paper that is 15 inches by 30 inches. Is the area of the sheet of paper great enough to cover all the faces of one box? So let's figure out the area of the paper that she has. One large sheet of paper that's 15 inches by 30 inches. 
So the area is 15 times 30, which is 450 inches square. Is this enough for one, uh, one entire box to cover one entire box? The whole area for the box on the surface is 486 inches. That is the least amount of area that you need. Is 450 enough? No. So you cannot cover the whole box. So no. When we find the area, let's say, no, the area the large paper is 15 times 30, which is 450 or 450 square inches. Um, the area of the size of the box is 486. 486 is greater than 450. So Mary Ann does not have enough. Okay. So we're comparing surface areas. Let's think about how we can find the surface area of a prism. We just did, but let's uh, let's see how we could do it in practice. Example one, find the surface area of a rectangular prism. Kelly wants to cover a shoebox with decorative paper without overlapping the paper. How much paper will she need to cover the box? So we want to cover this box, and that means we need to figure out the area of all the sides together. So the total area of the uh, of the sides of the box is called the surface area of the box, okay? So the surface area is equal to the whole area of the sides, the total area of the sides. So one way you can draw net to figure them out by one side and an, uh, by another side. Another way, you can look at the dimensions. You have a length and a width, right? A length and a width and a height. So that's the length, that's the width, that's the height. You have two sides that are the same, two opposite sides that are gonna be the same uh, for rectangular prism, right? The opposite sides are equal. So if you multiply the height by the width, you get this side and the opposite side over here. 10 times 8, 80 are the bases on top and the bottom. And the side, uh, the other longer side would be 10 by 6, that's 60 and 60 over here on the sides. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides. Make sure you have all the sides um, figured out and then you can add them and get 376. But your answer must be the same, okay? Let's look at try question. Use the net air and the formula to find a surface area of the prism. Can you figure out the surface area of this prism I, um, with both ways? This is the equation of the surface area, and that is the net that you can use to figure out the total surface area. See if you can do it by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers. Okay. So look at your base, that's your height. Height is three, your width, wait, that's length. Length is four, width is two. So looking at the equation, you can substitute L, W, and H. So two times L, W is four times two. Plus two times W, H is two times three. Plus two times L, H is four times three. And then you can figure out the surface area. Or you can do that um, visually by using the net. Two times three is six. Two times three is six. So you have two times six, right? So that is uh, the second part over here. The second term, two times six. We're talking about these two, okay? Four times three is 12, and that's also 12. 
So that's the third term on the equation, two times 12. And then the other side, four times, two, uh, four times two is eight, and that's also eight. So two times eight, and we're gonna multiply them by two because we have the same sides, right? So then after that, we're gonna combine them all together and you should be able to get 52 square centimeters, okay? Convince me, why are LW, WH, and LH each multiplied by two in the formula? Why are we multiplying by two? Look at your net. Why are we multiplying it by two? Because the sides are the same and we have two opposite sides that are the same, right? So each pair, the top and the bottom, the left and right sides, and the front and the back have the same areas. And that's why we're multiplying them by two. Okay, next page. Let's look at example two. Find the surface area of a cube. A cube is made up of sides that are Square. So all the dimensions are going to be equal. Let's look at example two. Sam built a storage cube out of plywood. How many square meters of plywood did Sam use for the cube? So that's the cube here. You got the width, the length, and then the height, and they're all 0 0.5 meters. And that's the net for the cube. So there are six same size squares in the net. Each side is a square and each side S. Each, uh, each um, side of the square has a length of 0 0.5 meter. So you can just figure out the area of one square and multiply that by six. So six times 0 0.5 square would be six times 0 0.25. And if you do that, it's 1.5 meters square as a whole. So one each, um, each square would be 0 0.25 meters square, right? So if you multiply that by one, two, three, four, five, six, you get 1.5 total. So you need uh, 1.5 meters square plywood to build the cube. Let's look at example three. Find the surface area of a triangular prism. Find the surface area of a triangular prism. Use the net to find the area of each base of the prism, then add the areas. So area of the triangular bases over here, you have one half, you, this is the area of a triangle, right? One half BH. So 12 times nine is the area of this rectangle over here, right? You divide it by two to get the triangle, which is going to be 12 times nine, um, which is going to be 108, and divided by two is 54, okay? So that's also 54. So together it's 100, 108. Um, and the area of this uh, bottom, 12 times 18, that's 18, is going to be 216, right? And then area of the back is uh, nine times 18, so 662. Area of the sloped face, this part is 15 times 18. So um, that's gonna be 270. The so notice you do not have six faces. You have one, two, three, four, five different parts, okay? Because you have a triangular prism. Your triangle has three sides, right? So then your, your faces are, uh, that's gonna be on the sides over here. The rectangular faces are only gonna be three. So you add all the sides, the area of the sides together, and then you get 756 centimeters square. So it depends on what kind of prism you have. You really have to figure out the area um, by each 
side by each basis okay and then you add them all up if you see any equivalent bases that will have equivalent areas then you can multiply that by two but you need to make sure if you have equivalent bases or not because triangular prism uh, you only have the bases that are equivalent and all the other faces the rectangular faces might have different uh, dimensions okay so pay attention to different dimensions so let's look at this try question see if you can do this by yourself find the surface area of each prism part a you have a cube part b you have a triangular prism you can either draw a net and figure it out, or you can um, write equations for all the areas of each basis. See if you can do it by yourself and come back for our answers. Okay, are you ready? Look at the cube. How many faces does a cube have? Six faces, and they're all gonna be equal area. So just figure out the area of one face. 4.2 times 4.2 is going to be the area of one space, right? So 4.2 square is going to be 7.64. So you have six sides. So you're going to multiply six times 4.2 square, which is 17.64. That means you have six spaces and total should be 105.84 square centimeter okay that is the surface area for the cube what about the triangular prism so it might be helpful for you to draw a net you have two bases that are the uh the same right the height is four the base is six and then the length over here is seven then you have one rectangle over here that has uh, the slanted height of five and another one that, that also has a slanted uh, height of five. So these two, um, the these two faces on the sides are, are equivalent. So seven times five is 35, you have two of them. So two times 35 plus the bases, six times four divided by two two times six times four divided by two plus your rectangular base uh over here six times seven that's just one you don't have two of them so make sure you don't multiply that by two so six times two six times seven okay so two times 35 is 70 and then six times four divided by two is 12 times two is 24. And then six times seven is 42. So all together, you should have 136 square feet. Okay. Did you get them right? All right, if you got both of them correct, great job. You got the surface area of these two prisms. If you, if you got it wrong, um, try to see what error you made and make sure you don't uh, do it again. But that is it for this lesson, guys. Let's summarize our lesson. So the key concept in this lesson is how to find the surface area using net. Net is useful for you to figure out the area for each individual faces. So, um, yeah, sometimes if you don't have a net, you might forget a face. So even to check answers, it's helpful to draw a net, okay? Or just make sure you know how many faces you're, you're looking for. So rectangular prism will have six faces, but triangular prism will, have, will only have five. Okay. So that was lesson six, finding surface areas of prisons. We'll, um, we'll continue with lesson seven, finding air, surface areas of pyramids in the next video. If you have any uh, questions about this lesson, please ask Ms. King in class. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.